One of the questions that I get the most since I started to make a series about the X106 is should I buy this camera and could you let me know, yeah, should I buy it, do you recommend it? And it's hard for me to recommend the camera without knowing exactly what are your needs. But today I wanted to talk about the five reasons why you might want to buy the X106 and why it might be made for you. Reason number one, if you are someone that is really looking for something portable, something that you will be able to carry everywhere with you, something that will not feel like very cumbersome in your bag or something that would take too much space in your pockets or etc. If you are looking for something like that, that will help you stay motivated to take pictures or videos, I think that the X106 is a good starting point. Now, while other cameras like the X-T5, the X-S20, or other X cameras, or also non-Fujifilm cameras, are also compact, I would say that the X106 goes a bit further than that. Not only it is compact, very minimal, but will also help you to just keep it simple and bring it everywhere you want. Basically, every time I go out nowadays, I just put this in my bag or put it in my pocket. And I know that if I need to take a snapshot, I have it in my hands, right? Real quick. In maybe a few seconds, it's ready to shoot. If you own an XT or an XH, well, there is definitely more setup time that is needed, right? Except if you, of course, only use it with one lens all the time, which is kind of something that will be comparable to this, I agree. But typically, you bring other lenses with those cameras because that's what they're made for, to give you options to use other lenses. So there is more setup time associated to that. Whereas this one just come out of your pocket, very portable and straight, straightforward to use um, directly, right? You just pop up a few switch, turn a few buttons and you're ready to take some snaps or take some videos if you want. So it makes it very portable and the barrier to entry to take a picture or a video that is already very good quality is very low. And I'm a big fan of putting yourself in conditions where it makes it very easy for you to do what you want to do. So the X106 does exactly that. Now, number two is the look. If you're looking for a camera that is very slick, retro style, compact, minimal looking, well, at the moment on the market, that is pretty much what you can get, right? The X105, the X106, the Nikon ZF as well. Now, the X105 has been overpriced for such a long time that I had never recommended it. The Nikon ZF, I've tested it. I enjoy the camera, but for me, for what it gives you, it's a bit too heavy and it's a bit... I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of the overall ergonomics. Well, this camera gives you the ergonomics and the retro look that you pretty much want to have when you buy this type of this of camera. So if this is what you are looking for, a small point and shoot that has a retro look and that really makes you feel like you want to work on it, you want to you want to take pictures with it, then definitely that's a camera that would recommend you. Now, it doesn't come without limitations for sure, but it's a camera that definitely makes you want to take pictures and makes you want to bring it everywhere, which kind of comes back to the first point. And the look is also part of, you know, the overall package. Now, number three for me is really if you're looking for simplicity. Now, what do I mean by that? And there are tons of aspects when you talk about simplicity, right? Simplicity of use. This camera is very easy to use. You only have two dials. You have the minimum kind of functionalities. While And while it's capable of doing a lot of things, the design keeps it very simple. You have one lens on it. So it's not like you have to set your lens, you have to choose your focal length, etc. No, you have the 35 millimeter equivalent full frame and that's it. That's what you're working with. If you want to shoot in JPEG only, you are able to do this with this camera and you still will be able to create great pictures with amazing film simulations. So no need to necessarily edit all your pictures. You can keep it simple, just shoot JPEG and you will still get great results. Now, if you take videos with this camera as well, they are internal NDs, meaning that 
again it's very simple to use all you have to do is switch the internal and the on and you're pretty much good to go 4k 6.2k right so it's very simple to go from one mode to another. You don't need to set a, an ND filter, etc. You don't need to change lens. You don't need to think about all that. All that you need is intern internally present in the camera. So all of these factors all come together and really makes it a simple system. And what I mean by simple is not that something that will not be able to create complex results, but something that is simple to use. Now, the fourth reason for you to purchase this camera is and only if you are okay with its limitations. If you're trying to shoot everything with this camera, I don't think that you will get the result that you want, honestly. You better get a camera with interchangeable lenses. However, if you are someone that is okay with only having the 35 millimeter and that can work around its limitations and that can think about, okay, how you can make 35 millimeter focal length work in all the situations that you have then definitely you will make this camera work but if you want to be able to zoom if you want to be able to go ultra wide then that is not the camera that you should get obviously but it's worth mentioning because a lot of people criticize this camera based on the fact that the lens is fixed which is true it's fixed but by design so if you don't want a fixed lens camera to begin with just don't buy it now when it comes to its limitations as well i think that one other big limitation for me with this camera is the battery life it is not the battery life that you are used to on other cameras like an xt5 or an xh2 or xh2s this camera battery is the previous generation from fujifilm meaning that it is i mean it dies way faster let's let's um Let's face it, um, I've been, you know, taking a few uh, videos with the X106 right now. Too windy, unfortunately, for me to go outside to take this video. And the camera, after maybe less than an hour of use for video, uh, of me taking some shots here and there, is almost, almost dead already, right? So that's another limitation that you have to be aware of. If you have this camera, which is a nice camera, portable, etc., it comes with sacrifices. Battery life is one of them. And finally, I think that this camera is also a great introduction to the world of photography for a lot of people. And I think that's also part of why it is so successful at the moment and receives so many orders. A lot of people kind of feel intimidated, right, by a uh, big DSLR or big cameras that feel like they have so many parameters and so many things to know about photography before you would be able to take a good picture or what people would consider a good picture, right? However, with this kind of camera, which actually can do pretty much everything that a big, bigger camera would be able to do with the same lens, People feel less intimidated, and that's a big factor. It's beginner-friendly because it's not scary, right? People are not scared to use it or bring it around. Also, when you come out with this camera, people will not ask you too many questions either, right? If you're shooting with a big camera with a huge lens in the streets or wherever, people will look at you. But with this, you just look like a tourist, which is sometimes a good thing, right? People won't judge you on on this little camera. And this is something that feel, I mean, let people feel comfortable, which is a very big aspect and underrated aspect, in my opinion, of photography. To feel comfortable with the gear you use and to feel comfortable with the way people look at you also when you're using your gear. Of course, when you have years and years of experience, you don't really care about that anymore. But at first, going outside, pointing your camera at people or pointing your camera at things and having people ask you questions like what are you doing here or oh look at your camera blah 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 tons of questions are you using it properly etc it can be quite intimidating and confusing and having such a tiny camera which is cap again capable of doing a lot and capable of taking great shots um, I will put some shots that I took with this camera the quality of the camera is amazing the quality of the sensor and the lens it's really good it's as good as my xt5 which i use for professional photo shoot right it's 
it has everything that needs to it needs to have to to create amazing pictures it's small it's you don't think about it too much you just point and shoot but you can still great take amazing pictures with it so what do you think about the Fujifilm X106? Are you going to get one? Do you think that I missed one reason to get it or not? Let me know down in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.